Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'm doing the Fender Play app, random exercise and riff on the bass guitar. Um, the random riff and exercise is sent to my phone five days a week, Monday through Friday. Today's random exercise is playing eighth notes. And then today's random riff is Upside Down by Diana Ross. All right. Let's do this. Put those eighth notes to practice with a focus on form and timing. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to practice playing eighth notes on three strings. And the tabs are right here. Let's learn an exercise that gets us playing eighth notes. This exercise spans three of our four bass strings and we'll play eighth notes throughout. Sounds like this. In the fret hand, we're going to be playing a handful of notes. So on the first measure, we're going to start off on the D string at the second fret with our first finger. We're going to play that note four times. One and two and. Move over to the open G. Play that four times. Three and four and. Now we're on to the second measure. We're going to fret at the second fret of the G string. Play that note three times. One and two. And then we're going to play an open G. So it's going to be one and two and. Move over to the D string, second fret. Play that three times. Three and four. And then an open D. Then we move over to the third fret of the A string. This is our third measure. We're going to play this note eight times. So it's a full bar on C. One and two and three and four and. And the final bar is going to be all open A. One and two and three and four and. Put that all together for you. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four and. In the rhythm hand, we're going to be playing a consistent eighth note rhythm throughout. We're going to use an alternating index and middle finger pattern, but also try using a rake technique whenever you're descending between adjacent strings. I'll go ahead and play through the exercise so you can see where the rakes occur. One, two, three, four. Here come the rakes. Rake. And rake again. Let's play through the exercise three times. I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Last bar. Second time. Great job tackling this eighth note exercise for bass. Keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. Okay, go and watch again and play along. Let's learn an exercise that gets us playing eighth notes. This exercise spans three of our four bass strings, and we'll play eighth notes throughout. It sounds like this. <laughs> hand we're going to be playing a handful of notes so on the first measure we're going to start off on the d string at the second fret with our first finger we're going to play that note four times one and two and move over to the open g play that four times three and four and now we're on to the second measure we're going to fret at the second fret of the g string play that note three times one and two and then we're going to play an open g so it's going to be one and two and to the D string, second fret, play that three times, three and four, and then an open D, then we move over to the third
third fret of the A string, this is our third measure, we're gonna play this note eight times. So it's a full bar on C. One and two and three and four and. And the final bar is gonna be all open A. One and two and three and four and. Put that all together for you. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One, two. We're going to be playing a consistent eighth note rhythm throughout. We're going to use an alternating index and middle finger pattern, but also try using a rake technique whenever you're descending between adjacent strings. I'll go ahead and play through the exercise so you can see where the rakes occur. One, two, three, four. Here come the rakes. Rake. And rake again. Let's play through the exercise three times. I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Last bar. Second time. job tackling this eighth note exercise for bass. Keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Upside Down. Upside Down was featured as the lead single on Diane Ross's 10th studio album release in 1980. It's a song written by the powerhouse songwriting duel of Nile Rogers and Bernard Edwards of the band Chic, or is it Chick? Hold on, is that Chic or Chick? Should probably look it up sometime. All right, let's do this. Let's learn that. The Diana, Diana Ross classic, Upside Down. In this lesson, you will learn alternate plucking, strain muting, sarc I know the words, I have a speech impairment, sarcado, did I say it right, sarcado, eighth note rhythms, okay. and tabs are, that's it. Let's check out the riff in Upside Down by Diana Ross. It's a funky four bar phrase that's also played for the chorus, and it sounds like this. Let's start with the fret hand. We'll play a handful of notes in the first position on the E and A strings. It's a repeated four bar phrase. We'll start with our third finger on the third fret of the E string and play that note twice. Then move to the first fret of the A string with your first finger. Play that note once. Then play the third fret of the A string with your third finger. So that first bar sounds like this. Note that the first and third beat there are staccato. Now the second bar. We start with our first finger on the first fret of the E string. Play this note twice. Then move to the third fret of the E string with your third finger. Once. That second bar sounds like this. Again, staccato on first and third beat there. For the second half, only bar three changes. 
So we'll start with our first finger on the first fret of the A string. Play this note twice. Then move to the second fret of the A string with your second finger. Then play the third fret of the A string with your third finger. It's a nice little walk up there. Let's hear that third bar all together. Sounds like this. Again, first and third beat played staccato. And bar four here is the same as bar two. So we'll start with our first finger on the first fret of the E string. Play this note twice. Then move to the third fret of the E string with your third finger once. Let's hear that bar together. Sounds like this. Now let's talk about the rhythm hand. We're playing quarter and eighth note rhythms using alternate plucking and string muting on all our rests, plus staccato notes. So start on the third fret of the E string, and the rhythm sounds like this. One, two, and three, rest. One, rest, and three, rest. Same rhythm for bars three and four. One, two, and three, rest. One, rest, and three, rest. And remember on those rests to use your plucking hand to cover the strings to prevent any string noises from coming through. Let's put it together and play through the riff, which is also the chorus, two times through. Ready? I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Second time. And there's the riff. Okay, go and play it again, play along. Let's check out the riff in Upside Down by Diana Ross. It's a funky four bar phrase that's also played for the chorus, and it sounds like this. Let's start with the fret hand. We'll play a handful of notes in the first position on the E and A strings. It's a repeated four bar phrase. We'll start with our third finger on the third fret of the E string and play that note twice. Then move to the first fret of the A string with your first finger. Play that note once. Then play the third fret of the A string with your third finger. So that first bar sounds like this. Note that the first and third beat there are staccato. Now the second bar. We start with our first finger on the first fret of the E string. Play this note twice. Then move to the third fret of the E string with your third finger. Once. That second bar sounds like this. Again, staccato on first and third beat there. For the second half, only bar three changes. So we'll start with our first finger on the first fret of the A string. Play this note twice. Then move to the second fret of the A string with your second finger. Then play the third fret of the A string with your third finger. It's a nice little walk up there. Let's hear that third bar all together. Sounds like this. Again, first and third beat played staccato. And bar four here is the same as bar two. So we'll start with our first finger on the first fret of the E string. Play this note twice. Then move to the third fret of the E string with your third finger once. Let's hear that bar together. Sounds like this. Now let's talk about the rhythm hand. We're playing quarter and eighth note rhythms using alternate plucking and string muting on all our rests, plus staccato notes. So start on the third fret of the E string, and the rhythm sounds like this. One, two, and three. Rest, one, rest, and three, rest. 
same rhythm for bars three and four. One, two, and three, rest. One, rest, and three, rest. And remember on those rests to use your plucking hand to cover the strings to prevent any string noises from coming through. Let's put it together and play through the riff, which is also the chorus, two times through. Ready? I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Second time. And there's the riff. Now I'm going to practice it. Let's try that again. <laughs> 